Y'all, that stupid soup wasted. Like, I, I just put y'all on hold because I felt it was going to. And so, it wasted. <sighs> Anywho, it's always something with this food. That That's probably a sign not to be eating it, huh? Probably. But now, let me try to go ahead and add this sticky noodle. Let me put this under it because I ain't got time for this mess to be wasting like that. I'm trying to eat. And it don't want me to be great. It don't want me to eat. <laughs> y'all, I'm so petty sometimes. Can y'all see me good? Okay. Oh my goodness. It's so. I'm eating it this time. Last time, y'all, I threw all that food in the trash. And I was like, it was just so nasty to me. The soup was good, but it was like, once the meat and all that stuff was gone, mm -mm, baby. No, 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 no. And like I told you, once my, my bean sprouts be gone, I don't want nothing else to do with it. I just can't believe they got all these dang on, um, what the magicians is in there here. These uh jalapeno peppers in here. Who 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 would want to deal with that? I understand y'all like spice, but hold on, Tito. Damn, ask me first. All right, y'all. So oh, my mom watering, watering. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Time for. The moment we've all been waiting on. You see how, and then once it get in the broth, how it just start loosening up right away. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh. That almost choked me. Let me put this down. So I can put y'all back to the middle. So y'all could be, you know, living your best life with me. Yeah, I wish y'all can, can take this. But y'all so really... Reality, it's, it's been so much going on all over the world. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on this day and age, but boy, everybody got to get it together. You know, it's something when you can't barely live by yourself because the cost of living is so extremely high, but yet they don't raise your price of pay, you know, give you any type of it increase like it just foul how did you sneak in here y'all i had a pepper that tried to trick me and sneak in there mm -mm, honey get right back out go back right to where you come from bro well, and maybe it's me because i always thought when you work for a job you get you know, raises, pay raises, and all that. Y'all, the current employer that I'm at, they be like, well, your current position, it once you tap out, meaning, tap out means that you got the highest that they, they want to pay for that position. Then you have to move to another position in order to get your increase. Then if you tap out at that position and you have to move to another position so if you decided to stay in your role you comfortable in your job and what you're working what you do if you decide to stay there for five years six years seven years you are stuck at the amount that they think that position is worth whether you are longevity or just starting that's the rate of pay so i'm looking at some of the people that's been there for like five or six years in that role and i'm like Y'all can't be serious, right? Y'all contending, y'all too happy because with me, I, I don't, mm -mm. this is why I'm on a journey, y'all. 
I'm on a mission. I'm on a journey to get my own business because I feel like nobody should put a price tag on what they think I'm worth. And if I'm going to be doing the same amount of work, if not more work, you need to pay me for that, period. Like, you can't go how our grandparents or our parents or what have you, how they, they used to be on their jobs for 20, 25 years. It's not built like that no more, y'all. And it's sad. It's very sad. You can't depend on nothing. Your employer don't care. It's always been like that. Some may act like they care, but you're just a number. Mm-hmm. And then, if you're a worker like me, you know, I go to work faithfully. I try not to call off if there's some real sick or something going on that I just can't absolutely get to work. But I work my ass off. And I've been trying to give them this overtime hours and all this. You know, do all, do the most. And as soon as you get sick, find out how much that job care about you. you just a number. They're going to replace you faster than anything. They feel like you're not doing what they need you to do. You know, regardless how hard you work. And it's not right. What I believe is in corporate America, people that's in the higher positions, I think they should rotate themselves so they can work in other positions and other spots and do what we do for a chance. And go by whatever numbers they want us to go by and see how well they cooperate or see how well they're able to do our job with somebody else dictating how much you get paid. They need to rotate this thing around because, baby, I see why it's a lot of people that they just go get what they need out of the job and they move along. That's smart. But when you got rent and mortgage, And there ain't nobody supporting you but you. Baby, you got to suck it up and do what them people tell you. Because ain't nothing worse than having to go stay with somebody. And when you stand with somebody, you have to abide by their rules and do what they want you to do. And listen to them talk crazy and hold and bite your tongue so that you'll have a, a roof up your head. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Boy, some stories I can tell y'all. You understand me? Now, you know what? I put this shrimp in here. And this soup, y'all. And all I'm getting is the noodles and the bean sprout. Can y'all see? Hmm. Okay. The noodle and the bean sprout. Baby, it's good. It's good, good. I just want my shrimp and I can't find it. I think, oh, I don't know why this thing don't want to sit up for me, y'all. It be, it be the, the shit like this. But if this camera think I'm supposed to hold it and eat, baby, we can't do that. So, I'm going to need you. My word. All right. Maybe it'll stay like that. Y'all, I know some of y'all might come on here and look and be like, oh, she just got her. Why she got that bonnet on? First of all, where I'm at, it's 10 o'clock at night. And me, when I come in from outside or wherever, I got this thing and set in stone in my head, cover my hair. In clothes I had on while I was outside. I don't care if I want to take the trash out, check the mailbox, whatever. As soon as I get back in the house, baby, them clothes coming up off of me. It, I don't care. I'll play in about five, six pairs of clothes a day if I go outside that many times. Because I will not sit in my house with the clothes that I came in from outside. That's how y'all get sick. 
And a lot of people be like, oh, I was in the house. All I did was this, 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 this. And I don't know how I'm sick. That's why. Mm-hmm. Bring them germs from the outside. In your home, baby. Where you sit and you reside and you you lay your head and all that. Mm -mm. Finally, y'all. All right, baby. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm mm. Okay. So this one. Thought it wasn't gonna get eight. Put wrong one. They kind of. Mm mm. You know, people. Maybe because I cook as well. When I taste other people's seafood and stuff, it don't be tasting right. Oh, wow. Mm, no food. Overcooked or they don't clean it correctly or what? Y'all, with my seafood, I am a lime lemon eater. I love it. But they only gave me one. That's not cool. And I do got some chopsticks to go with this, y'all, but I'm not just be playing with them chopsticks. I'm hungry. So, y'all, yeah. it's so chewy, <laughs> so chewy. This meal is good. That sandwich, y'all, that y'all seen earlier, I'll eat that um later. Because this soup is getting me full. It's the, maybe it's the bra. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> mm, it's so everything is fresh though. I like that. Oh, well, I just came basically to go ahead and show y'all the full restaurant part two. And to talk just a little bit, but I'll be back probably the next time y'all see me. I will be in my new house. Um, yeah, the vibes in this place. I've been here five years, y'all. And it's time for me to go. Do you hear me? It's time to go away from this location. But I am going to do a, 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 a tour of my new spot. Once I'm in there. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, keep my tongue in my mouth first of all, because you're eating. Get that. All right, but thank you so much for watching me. I will be back with another one. With another one. All right, y'all. I'm just finished eating my food. Have a good one. Be blessed without the stress. Enjoy.